So here at Chester Falconry and Nature Gardens with Kieran. Hi there. Uh, so basically there's quite a long history of falconry. It does date back to um, about 4,000 years really in total, but it's always been quite a noble sport, the sport of the royals. So the Gia Falcon down there to our side, he was always known as the bird of the king. Um, so only the kings of Europe were ever allowed to fly the Gia's back then. But the Kestrel has also uh, got a very deep history in falconry. They were normally the bird of the nave, but they were often uh, a bird that a lot of kids used when they were first starting out in falconry to learn how to do it. Nowadays, people don't normally start off with the Kestrel until they're quite experienced with the weight management side of things. But if you want to raise up your glove here and we'll pop over straight across. Our little one here is called Pipsqueak. Yeah, it go. It's about a three and a half year old female Eurasian Kestrel. Marvellous. Thank you very much, Kieran. No problem at all.